What's the most important thing to consider when planning out a vacation? For some, the places to visit. For others, the accommodations. For me, the food. I love food, and not just any type of food, good food. You can't live without it, so why not enjoy it? Hi everyone, welcome back, this is Angel, and in today's episode, I'm gonna be talking about food and the best Jeju has to offer. Whenever I travel abroad, I like to try the best seasonal foods of the area. And so my recommendation to you all as you're planning out your trip to Jeju is what's best to eat during the autumn and winter seasons in Jeju. And that, my friends, is the yellowtail fish or pangong in Korean. Yellowtail fish in Jeju is a huge deal and they even have a dedicated festival to it that's held every year. This year it's held between November 21st and the 24th at Moselpo Port. And if you've already kind of started doing your research about Jeju Island, Moselpo Port may sound familiar and that's because that's where you'll go if you want to travel to Kapado or Marado Island. If you end up walking around the port, one thing will be strikingly obvious and that's the fact that most of the restaurants there in that area are all fish restaurants. The yellowtail fish that's caught in the Moserpo area during the autumn and winter seasons is said to be the best yellowtail that you'll find anywhere in Korea. So if you're here in Jeju during this season right now or in winter, yellowtail is what you have to try. Okay, so how do Koreans like to eat their yellowtail? Obviously, there are more ways than one, but the most popular way to consume yellowtail fish here in Korea seems to be raw. What is this? So this is a yellowtail, this is salmon, and over here is a halibut. This is the yellowtail, guys. This is the yellowtail. It's not ew, it looks good. I'm gonna taste it just as is without any sauce. It's chewy and it tastes like fish. So what else is there to eat on Jeju Island? Well, pork is another huge deal here. And it's not just any type of pork, it's the special Jeju black pork. And it's called black pork because the pigs are black. Jeju's black pork is famous nationwide, and some even say that the flavor of it resembles beef. Now, I'm not quite convinced of that, but if you try it, let me know. Another very Jeju type of dish is the muruhe. Translated literally, that means raw fish in water. It doesn't sound very appetizing, but it's a lot tastier than it sounds. Normally in Korea, seafood is served cooked or raw with dipping sauces, but in Jeju, they also serve raw seafood in chilled broth. These days, you may be able to find that type of dish served in other areas of Korea. It originates here on the island, and in my humble opinion, the islanders do it best. Of all the different types of murhe, hanchi murhe, or cuttlefish, is the most popular. The broth is cold, sweet, and slightly vinegary, and the broth is red, but it looks a lot spicier than it actually is. Okay, so the next place I'm going to introduce to you is a place where you can go to try a lot of the trendy and Instagram famous foods on Jeju. And that is the Dongwon Night Market. Dongwon Market is a traditional market by day and a hugely popular and trendy food venue by night. You can get cookies and sweet snacks, souvenirs, seafood, and of course Jeju citrus fruit but people really come here at night for the food stalls. When we went recently, we tried the ice cream and the mozzarella hot dog on a stick, 
both were delicious. I hope that answered some of your questions on what to eat in Jeju or made you hungry at the very least. I consider both wins. And if you're looking for some specific restaurants that come highly recommended, make sure to check out Visit Jeju's website. They have a ton of really good information there. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give a big thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. See you next time.